Hi guys, Mark Raymond 100, and I have a bit of a different video for you guys today. So, anyone that has used the Cutscene Maker program or that's uh, been keeping up to date with the project knows about the performance issues with the Cutscene Maker program. So, right now I am going to be testing a theory of mine that potentially what might be happening is some kind of interference by my computer that's either A, making me think that there's performance issues when really there's not, which I don't think that's the case, but it's possible, or B, what could be happening is that I, I really frankly don't know so here's what's going on if you look over here at the process thing um, the reason I'm using my phone camera right now instead of using like a screen recorder is because I'm juggling between two computers so yeah sorry about that but if you look at the process over there so Game Maker Studio game and it's running at GPU 9.1 uh, that's the rough percentages and then there's something on top of that which is taking up like 13% GPU performance I looked into that I have no idea what it is but um, I'm not even sure if that's even being affected by the actual thing so I'm not sure if the 13% is so high because of the game maker thing, but it doesn't even matter. Now, 9% does not seem like a lot, but really there's nothing going on here that should make it take up 9%. The only thing that's happening here is that it's waiting for the player to click hit, click to start. That's the only thing that's happening there. there. That and the little Patreon thing over here, which is also waiting for the player to click it, so that way it brings you to Patreon. That's the only thing that should be happening, and that shouldn't take up 9% GPU of a GTX 1070, which is a relatively powerful powerful GPU. Now, I tested this on my laptop. My laptop deemed worse results. So my laptop has a GTX uh, 960M. So this has a 1070. My laptop has a 960M. My laptop, it was around 30 to 40 percent which is insane, and that's just on the splash screen, so very, very strange. Now, because of this, what I attempted to do was, okay, you know something, maybe it's something with Game Maker, so I decided to close everything, reopen it, and then I just opened a blank level and ran with the blank level, the percentages were pretty normal. So it shouldn't be taking up 30% of a GTX 960 or 10% of a 1070 when effectively nothing's going on. Even weirder is this right here. So click to start. Now, you would expect, because there's a lot going on in this part right here, so you would expect, okay, you know something, because there's a lot more going on, oops, uh, because there's a lot more going on, that the GPU performance should be a lot worse, but no. So, it is higher, clearly, but it's only around 11%, 2% jump, and that's going from absolutely, basically nothing happening, just waiting for the player to click, click to start, to a whole bunch of code that needs to run for this. I don't know what's going on. Now, in a previous build, this is, this is not built the same build that's running, but in a previous build, so what happened with this is that I made a mistake, and apparently, like, you're able to spawn assets in, like, the sprites themselves, rather than having to turn them into objects first. Now, this build of the program is spawning the objects rather than the sprites, but when I switched it over to spawning the sprites instead, since that should improve the performance, it didn't look like it helped absolutely at all, which is very, very strange. So, what's weird is not only the fact that it's at 10% with relatively little going on, even this is still relatively little, but compared to the other thing, it's a lot more. But even when relatively little is going on, taking up 11% performance, but also the fact that it's taking up that much performance and that when nothing's going on, it's taking up around 9% performance and it's only a 2% jump from basically nothing to a whole lot of stuff. So here's what I'm doing to try and look into this. I'm thinking by this point, because I've done every single troubleshooting method I could think of, and I've asked some people on the Game Maker Discord, and uh, they're trying to help me at least, but... Um, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it might be interference with my computer system, something like that. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing a live test. So, this is a really junky second computer of mine. The whole point of this computer right here is literally just for me to offload rendering from my main system. It has an older i5, I think it's like an i5-4590 uh, or something, which is an older i5. It's less powerful than my i7-4770, but it's still a relatively decent CPU for what it is. It has integrated graphics, so no dedicated GPU. I think it's... Um, 
it says right there it's a 500 watt power supply. Um, it's running a stock cooler, so it might heat up a bit. Eight, eight, eight gigs of RAM, so relatively weak system, but it should get the job done. The integrated graphics might be a problem. Again, versus my computer over here, which is a 1070 plus a 960 also. i7-4770, um, 32 gigs of RAM, DDR3 RAM, not DDR4, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, um, let's see what's happening. So, on here, if you look at the graphs, right now it's running, and let's look at the performance graph you can see that gpu is if you look at gpu gpu is hovering around 30 percent this is total so and the cpu is around 12 percent memory is around there so let's try closing it out let's see what happens so it was at 12 with the, the cpu and now it's going all the way down to eight nine that's relatively normal um it dropped by around three four percent i'd say that that's probably relatively normal um in terms of the gpu though take a look at this take a look at that it went from 30 percent jumped all the way to 100 and then all the way back down to six so went from 30 to 6 that's a 24% decrease. So something is going on over here. Something very strange is going on over here that went from 30 to 6. So let's see if I can figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it on a this system right here which is my junk system. The entire point of this system really is to offload rendering from my main system to download anything new in case there might be a virus just to see and luckily I haven't had to deal with too many viruses. Like if I if I might get some virus is when it's going on the web when downloading stuff so if i think some things a virus download to here first if this thing gets a virus nothing important on here anyways i could just wipe the system reinstall windows whatever um so because of that it's a relatively fresh install of windows and the only things downloaded there are sony vegas and photoshop and a couple of junky things with my mouse okay so let's try running the program as you can see over here um i let it idle for maybe 10 20 minutes that way gets all the initial startup garbage up and running. The disk is at zero to one percent. CPU is at uh, one to two percent. Why did it just jump to up? Oh, probably because I moved the mouse. Um, usually whenever, like when it's at idle, not doing anything, you just like do something. It'll do a slight um, performance jump. So um, it's hovering around one to three percent, I'd say. And the GPU is at zero to one percent. So let's take a look what happens if I run the program. So right now I'm simply look so there is a spike in CPU which is completely normal. So it spiked and that went back down. So right now it's hovering around eight to ten percent I'd say. So I'd say that's within the realm of what's normal for such a weak system. The weird thing is the GPU. So that confirms it without a doubt that something that something I did with the program is messing with the thing. So as you can see, it went from basically zero to 80% in the span of just clicking it. And it seems to be hovering at that 80% mark. What that means is that I'm not just crazy and there is something wrong with the program. So let's click to start. Let's see what happens. So jump down to 65 then all the way up to 86 83 so jumped a few percentages it was at 80 before now it's hovering around 85 percent yeah it's hovering around 85 percent that's because there's a little bit more going on this screen let's check the big hitter of a screen jump down to 70 is it gonna jump back up if it does not jump back up that's very weird It's hovering at, it's hovering lower than the previous screen. That's very weird. It's hovering at 77. That's very weird. Let's go to the next room. The next room is at 84, 85%, 86%. Let me open the options menu because that spawns a bunch of garbage. The options menu has it performing all over the place. I'm going to check the capture room. 
This basically confirms it though that something is going on with my system. Not my system, but with my program. I have no idea what it is. I can't figure this out for the life of me. I don't know why this is happening, and I need to figure it out. So, yeah, man, this is really, really annoying. Anyways, um, I think I'll leave off the video at that.